Hey there, welcome to today's practice. My name's Paula. Today is a moon yoga flow, so we'll just be dropping into that softer lunar yin type energy. Perfect if for the morning or for the evening or if any time if you're just feeling a little bit more tired but you still want to have a practice. Let's make a start at the top of your mat. This coming, feet can just be slightly apart or together if you feel ready to go for your Tadasana. Let's bring the palms of hands into your prayer position in front of the chest, letting the elbows drop down and letting the eyes close down. Starting to feel into the body and feel into the breath. A very soft micro bend in the knees. We're not locking out the knees. And start to lift up and out through the crown of the head, allowing the muscles of the face to relax, shoulders relax. Let's take a deep breath in through the nose and out through the mouth. One more time like that. Deep breath in through the nose. Out through the mouth. Coming back to breathing in and out through the nose. Gently opening up the eyes. Releasing the arms down by your side. Pressing down through the feet. Let's reach those arms up towards the ceiling. Taking an inhale. Palms, hands come together. Exhale. Take a forward fold. You can bend the knees here as much as you need to. Coming into your Uttanasana. Let the head relax down. And then just for this first Uttanasana, let's just take a little wriggle out through the hips. So bending one knee and then the other. Just taking any movement here that feels good, breathing to the backs of legs, it's really letting the neck be relaxed, making sure you're not holding up the head and then coming back to centre, soften through the knees and then let's start to strain those legs, you could bring your hands to the shin bones, reach forward through the crown of the head and sternum, take an inhale and then exhale, exhale all the way back down to your uh, down to the mat and then let's take a spinal roll to come back up drop the sitting bones down as you come up head is the last thing to come up reach those arms up inhale palms hands come together exhale forward fold uttanasana letting the head relax down take an inhale into your halfway lift hands can stay down or come to your shins exhale fold bend the knees step that right leg all the way back drop down to that right knee and release the right toes coming into your low lunge here you might want to stay up a bit higher to give yourself a bit more space if you feel comfortable to have the palms flat just go for that just taking a few breaths here focusing on the quality of softness in the breathing softness in the face And then let's tuck the back toes under, lift the back knee off, stepping back into down facing dog. Steady the gaze in between the feet or in between the ankles. One full breath. As you exhale, let's come down to the knees, open the knees wide, bring the big toes together, coming into your child's pose. Forehead down. You could be relaxed through the arms or stay active through the arms. It's your choice here. Let the hips be heavy. Coming up into your tabletop position, shift the, hip, the knees underneath the hips, release the belly down, lift the eyes, take an inhale. As you exhale, tuck the toes under, press back, down facing dog. Taking one breath here, drawing those lower ribs in. Taking the right leg up to the ceiling into your three-legged dog, inhale. Stepping that right foot forward in between the hands, drop that left knee down, release the top of the left foot down. Just holding your lunge position here. And once again, focusing on that quality of softening the breath. Noticing anywhere in the body that you can soften as well. Just 
Tuck the back toes under, lifting that back knee off, stepping forward, Uttanasana, you bring your hands a bit further forward. Letting the head relax down, pressing down through the feet, coming up to standing, inhale, reaching those arms up, palms and hands come together. You might take a little lean back here, maybe letting the head relax back. Exhale, forward fold. Uttanasana, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Bend the knee, step that left leg back, drop down to that left knee, release the top of the left foot down. Just holding it here once again. Tucking the back toes under, lifting that back knee off, step back, down facing dog. Just one breath. Come down into your child's pose, knees wide, big toes together, sit back towards the heels. Maybe extending through those arms a little bit more. Long through both sides of the waist. And then coming up into your tabletop position, knees underneath the hips, release the belly down towards the mat, lift the eyes, inhale, tuck the toes under, press back. Down facing dog. Take the left leg up to your three legged dog. Inhale, stepping it forward in between the hands. Come down to that right knee, release the top of the right foot down. Breathing into the front of that right thigh and right hip flexor. Tucking the back toes under, stepping forward, Uttanasana. Letting the head relax down, press down through the feet, coming back up to standing, inhale, palms and hands come together, drop the tailbone down and you might be able to take that little upper back bend, let the head relax and then exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift, exhale, fold. Bend the knees, step that right leg back, drop down to that right knee, release the top of the foot down. Bring the rifle back behind you so you can swivel to face the side, coming upright here. Step that left foot a little bit further forward so the left heel is in line with that right knee. You're pressing that left knee out to the side. Arms extend up to shoulder high. Inhale, exhale, taking a side bend. Take that left forearm down, right arm up and over. Relaxing that bottom shoulder down, away from the ear. Maybe turning the head to look up towards the ceiling. Opening up that right side body. And then take an inhale, come back upright. Turn slightly towards the diagonal in front of that left leg. We're going to start to walk the hands away. Think about your down face dog torso here. So you're long through both sides of the waist. Smooth, soft breath. Start to walk the hands around towards this left leg. Bring the right foot back behind you and just walk this left foot back so it's back to its spot in the lunge position. Tuck the back toes under, step back into down facing dog. Take an inhale, exhale, child's pose, knees wide, big toes together, sit the hips back, extend out through both sides of the waist, one full breath. Take an inhale to come into your tabletop position, stay for the exhale, release the belly down, lift the eyes, inhale, tuck the toes under, press back, down facing dog. Take the right leg up to your three-legged dog. Inhale, step it forward in between the hands. Drop that left knee down, release the left toes down. Take an inhale to come onto your fingertips here 
And then as you exhale, straightening into this right leg, flex the foot towards the face, walking your hands back a little bit, inhale, exhale, fold down to where you can. You might be able to walk your hands a little bit further forward, holding it here. Try to draw that right hip crease back. And even if there are some strong sensations coming up here, see if you can keep that breath soft, keep the quality of your being soft. So anywhere in the body that can soften. And then bend into that front leg, tuck the back toes under, stepping forward, Uttanasana. Let the head relax down. Press down through the feet, lifting up into your Urdhva Hastasana. Inhale, tailbone drops down, maybe a little upper back bend. Exhale, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Stepping that left leg back, come down to the left knee, release the back toes down. Swivel this left foot back behind you turning to face the side and just stepping that right foot forward so the right heel is in line with that left knee. Take the arms out to the side, inhale, right forearm down, left thumb up and over, dropping that right shoulder away from you to try not to collapse into that shoulder. Maybe turning the head to look up towards the ceiling. And opening up through that left side body now. And then take an inhale, coming back upright, turning slightly towards that front leg, coming to the inside of that right leg, bring the hands out, extending out through both sides of the waist, long, as if you're in your down facing dog torso here. Walk the hands around towards this front leg. Bring the left foot back behind you and just walk this right foot back to the center, back into your lunge position. Tuck the back toes under, stepping back to down facing dog. Taking an inhale, exhale down into your child's pose. One full breath here. Exhaling. Inhale up into your tabletop. Exhale just to stay. Release the belly down, lift the eyes. Inhale, tuck the toes under, press back. Down facing dog. Take the left leg up to your three-legged dog. Inhale, stepping that left foot forward in between the hands. Drop the knee down, release the back toes down. Onto your fingertips, take an inhale. Exhale to straighten into this left leg, flex the foot towards the face, walking the hands back a little bit, take another in breath. Exhale, folding down to where you can, or maybe staying just where you are, possibly walking those hands a little bit further forward. Trying to draw that left quadricep up. And remembering to come back to that sense of softness. Bending into that front leg, tuck the back toes under, stepping forward, Uttanasana. Relax the head down, press down through the feet, inhaling, coming back up to standing, palms, hands come together. Exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana. Walk your feet out so they're at least hip distance apart and then taking hold of the big toes with your first two fingers. If that's not possible, just hold on to your shins or your ankles. Otherwise, big toes, you could bend the knees if you need to. Reach the sternum forward, take an inhale, tips the shoulders away from your ears. And then as you exhale, bend the elbows out to the side. Shoulders lifting away from the ears. Weight shifting forward onto the balls of the feet. Letting the neck and head be really relaxed. 
taking an inhale into your halfway lift, keep holding on to the balls for a moment. As you exhale, you can release those hands, you can bend those knees. Bend the knees as much as you need to plant the hands down. Step back just a couple of feet, not too far. You can come down to your knees. Knees together, feet together, into your Japanese seated position. Coming up right, cupping the left hand in the right. Tips of the thumbs lightly touching. Closing down the eyes for a few moments. Noticing the length of the entire spine and then let's open up the eyes, come forward onto your knees and then we're just going to separate that right knee out to the side and we're going to come all the way back down. So we're going to sit down onto the hips, the right shins on the inside, this left shins on the outside. We're coming into this mermaid position with the legs. Take the right hand back behind you, left hand, left palm onto that right thigh and starting to take a twist to your right. Keep that left sitting bone dropping down, looking over towards your right shoulder. Using this left hand, it's a little bit of a lever to help you rotate around towards the right. Left sitting bone dropping down. Take one more inhale. As you exhale, see if there's any more space. And then from here, we're going to take that right hand a little bit further down. And you might stay on your hand or come down to the floor. And we're going to take this left arm up and over. And choice to just look down or look up. Keep reaching out through the top fingers. And then let's take an inhale coming back upright, come forward back over your knees and we're going to swap the position around. So we're going to take that right shin to the outside of the hip and then as you sit back that left shins to the inside. And just a little adjustment so you can get that right foot nice and close to the hip and then lengthening up and then taking a twist to the left. So palm of that right hand onto that left thigh, left hand behind you, dropping that right sitting bone down. It's going to want to do this. So you want to keep it dropping down long through both sides of the waist. Taking one more full breath, inhale. Stay for the exhale, see if there's any more space. And then just releasing slightly so you can take that left hand down or maybe the left forearm down, take the right arm up and over and your choice to look down or maybe look up towards the ceiling, keep reaching down through that right sitting bone, opening up to that right side body again here. And then taking an inhale to come back up and then let's release those legs out long. We'll take a forward fold to finish before our Shavasana. Take those arms up, inhaling, and then exhale. Holding onto where you can, shins, ankles, or feet. Belly down towards the thighs, sternum reaching forward. With each exhale, noticing if there's any more softening that can happen. And then let's come back up, inhaling. Make your way down onto your back. You can bend your knees and then lie all the way down. And extend the legs out long, letting the feet fall away from one another, arms a bit away from the body. Closing down the eyes completely. So noticing the back surface of the body and what's in contact with the mat and what's in contact with the ground underneath you. Just imagining those points of contact it's getting a little bit heavier as you exhale. Surrendering the weight of the body. Just 
just allowing yourself to come to complete rest. Please stay here for as long as you need to. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'll see you next time. Namaste.